Hey guys, it's Mark with A-Action. Today we're at a 1956 house doing an inspection. Uh, it's common for this age of house to have galvanized supply plumbing. We found that. We're here at the main uh, water supply for the house. And we thought it was funny that it was wrapped up. We all walked around in here in the garage. And we're like, hmm, what's on the ground? It's leaking. Nice. These are holes that have been cut in the door so that the water heater can get some air. I don't think we need to do that. This water heater, missing a drip leg. Got a brass connector right here. TPR is going up. Missing a storm collar up there on the roof. Got some roof damage. This is actually wet. Wall damage. Wet wall. Laundry room is not GFCI. Drain receptor is above faucets. More wet wall. Dryer needs to be cleaned out. Another brass connector. This oven is dirty and it's making a terrific odor. But it functions. None of the windows are working. A lot of the weather stripping is broken. Door sticking. Attic ladder not closing properly. Damage receptacles everywhere. No broken windows. Missing a door. That wall is wet. Same thing in here. We do have smoke alarms. This window is damaged, the window sills are wet. We're missing insulation up here. You can see some patching where there's been a leak. That wall over there is wet. The sink, faucet's loose, this toilet's leaking on the floor. This bathtub, this bathtub has some surface damage. This is broken, missing a stopper. Needs to be sealed with the wall. This is loose. Loose, this isn't even attached. This faucet head is loose and leaking. And behind this wall, this, or behind the plumbing fixtures, this wall is wet. Toilet's leaking at the floor. This bathtub, same thing, got some surface damage, needs to be sealed, this is loose, the door is not working properly, and this head's leaking also. To the roof. Fascia. Just hold it down. These storm collars are missing. I just put a nail. This needs, to, this needs to be covered with some caulking. Flashing wasn't too bad. There's a couple of minor lifting shingles. There's another missing storm collar. This is improperly installed. Grading and drainage. We got water pooling on each side of the house. This driveway is ready to be replaced. This AC is making a weird noise. I don't know what year it is, but it is R22. It's ready to be replaced. Primary is dripping next to the foundation. High soil, wood pile. Everything in here seems kind of questionable. You got exposed wires, junction boxes right here, just dangling on the floor. We have no purlin braces. 
from here to here and on the opposite side as well and then somebody spliced in a new header board going across the ceiling I'm not sure how legit this is either zone 2 leaking at bottom of head zone 2 spraying truck Uh oh. Okay, I guess so. Let's go check out this evaporator coil. That's a little dirty. That's pretty gross. We got some floating something or other. See something new every day. This looks a little suspect. Got this tied right here. Let's see what happens. yourselves an outdoor shower. So we have uh, went ahead and sealed that storm collar that's not properly positioned. But then the one that's actually properly positioned is not sealed. Apparently it's backwards day with this builder. So we got a new construction. We got this fan switch. So back on this new construction house, we got a bunch of holes in the shingles from tow boards. Here, here, here. But what makes it even more curious is that all this water out of this gutter is gonna fall right down to it. Checking the operation of the garage door operator. What? I can't hear you! 2013 roof. This boot jack here is damaged. It's got a little hole right here. Let's go check it out. Interesting. 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 Looks like we got a little drippy drippy during operation. Got a little corrosion on these copper lines. And oh, it's gas. Somebody's using copper lines in the gas system. Oh no. Alright Mark, what do you think of this railing? 
Looks pretty good. Whoa! Yeah. <clears throat> nice and uh. <clears throat> very secure. Very secure. Safety. Safety first. We're looking at a dirty evaporator coil in a 1983 house. It's pretty gross. That's what we're breathing right now. So there's a nice crack in the tile there. And I thought to myself, let's look around. And it looks like the wall is pushing the flashing up. And you got a nice little crack right here. I wonder what could be causing that. Drain pipes and wall. That's the wall. Which is terminating in the yard. Does that go in the kitchen? Nope. Disco in the kitchen. The sprinkler system rocks. What's missing? I guess they couldn't figure out why it kept leaking. There is no storm collar, so they have put this extra layer of caulking here in hopes that it won't leak. One. Termite swimmers. Carpenter ants. So the inside of this house is super clean. One of the cleanest older houses I've seen. And we get up on the roof and uh, and not so much. So we got older roof, there's a lot of granite loss. Got some uh, rusted flashing. Look at a satellite dish there. Old satellite dish there. Old satellite dish there. One there. Two there. One there. And uh, I've seen out of balance AC blowers and fans. I've never seen an out of balance noisy attic vent fan. We got some uh, DIY. DIY roof patching going on some more DIY behind this chimney so we got some some shady shingle install and then some shady uh, <laughs> flashing install that's that's real fun I love the uh, the plumbing vent stack right at the end of this valley all this water is gonna flow here looks like they've had some issues because they've caulked the mess out of these shingles around this boot. Let's see what we got over here. Got some squirrels chewing on the plumbing vent stack. Some exposed nails. You can see the granular loss. Here's all 47 of the old satellite dish mounts. Got some uh, exposed fasteners from the old satellite dish mounts. None of these are sealed properly. We got some holes here, holes here, exposed nails. Mark, do we need a roofer? You know. Only if they want their roof not to leak. <laughs> so just gonna show you, inside of the house looks amazing, roof not so much.